Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Cancer. So this is going to be a you and them love reading of your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energy is such a lie and ask these readings to be timeless and have something you need to hear when you need to hear it. And happy birthday to all Cancers who celebrate this month. Let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter for Cancer when it comes to this connection? What are some things going on in the daily life? Could be affecting the connection? How are they feeling in their heart space? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future or whenever you are meant to hear this reading. Now we'll get the cards for your person. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter for the person coming towards or connected to cancer? What is the heart of the matter? What are some things going on in the daily life? Could be affecting the connection. What is happening in the heart space? How do they feel? How do they feel about cancer? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future whenever you are meant to hear this message? Wow. There are some really strong energies coming here, coming through here, Cancer. What a major arcana. The heart of the matter for both of you is major arcana. This definitely feels significant. I do have to say, um, for the heart of the matter for you, we have the strength card. And that is like this beautiful July energy, July, August, because it's Leo, but it is just a summery, warm energy. It's definitely the energy of having the strength and courage to follow and listen to your heart. The strength card is all about learning to let your emotions guide you, not let them overwhelm you, but not try to fight and quell them either, but to think of the way you feel and then then um, let that help you be more aware of what it is you really want, what it is that makes you happy, where your heart's guiding you, and then to have the strength to follow that direction, to follow your heart. You could be working up the strength and the courage to do or say something. You could be dealing with the Leo or have that strong in your chart, but your person has the wheel of fortune. For me as a reader, I get Sagittarius. Um, it's different for others, but this is definitely the energy of someone who wants to get luck, get lucky, kind of like very positive, somebody who wants an opportunity. Um, there's definitely some deeper feelings, so don't get the wrong idea when I say get lucky. I just feel like this is somebody who is hoping for an opportunity, hoping to be able to have things move forward. It's exciting. It's positive. It is Major Arcana. It is an energy of the universe coming in and spinning the wheel and saying the things that, you know, have been down. It's time for them, you know, it's time for them to go upward. It's time for things to get better. It's time for things to improve. And I do feel like this person is hoping for like a change, a shift, an opportunity for some of you. If this is somebody who is far away, it's like they could want to move towards you. But they definitely are interested in moving forward with this connection, having that wheel of fortune being what they're thinking overall. In your daily life, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. I do have to say for any time a really positive pentacle card shows up in the daily life, it can be some really good things happening with finances, some surprises, some offers, some opportunities, some new beginnings. So I just have to say that some of you could even be starting a new work or career or have some sort of opportunity that's going to lead to really good things. It's definitely a positive new beginning, but something that's been manifested, something that's been thought, hoped for. Um, you've taken the action and now you're really anchoring something in. And when it comes to this, you know, you could be even like meeting somebody in your daily life or in the workplace or have somebody kind of contacting you, reaching out to you, wanting to see you, and you're just sort of going around about your daily 
life, your daily business, and something pops up. Pentacles are all about manifestations. This is somebody wanting to really genuinely see you, meet up with you, be with you kind of energy. You have a few aces here. So for some of you, this can be a completely new opportunity. It's definitely... Um, it's definitely a new beginning, but some of you definitely know exactly who this is. And I just want to say this person also knows exactly who you are, how important you are to them and what you mean to them. Um, first of all, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all the earth for that. Ace of Pentacles could be strong in your chart or theirs, but with this person has going on in their daily life and how they're feeling about you, we have the Six of Cups. It is like a soulmate kind of connect, like connection. It is a soulmate energy. It is an energy of nostalgia, somebody thinking about the good times, the good moments, somebody who really feels comfortable around you, wants to open up more, wants to express themselves, maybe in a new and different way than they, than they have in the past because this is somebody coming forward or returning for some of you um, with their heart, like their heart in their hand, realizing that they do need to express feelings, they do need to open up if they want to move this forward. This person could definitely be daydreaming about you with the Six of Cups showing up in their daily life. Six of Cups is a very dreaming kind of energy and so it might be hard for them to focus on work and things like that because you are just on their mind. If it is somebody new you're meeting and for some of that you this is quite possible, there's definitely like a connection right off because the Six of Cups are two people that it's like your souls get each other. You, you feel feel comfortable around one another. You feel like you can talk and say things that you haven't said. Um, somebody could be wanting an opportunity um, to reconnect. Obviously, it's not going to be for everyone, but with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups showing up like that um, and what's coming up in their heart space, somebody could be wanting to take action and really have a chance to um, show you how they feel in a way that maybe they haven't before. In your heart space, you have the Emperor energy. Aries could be significant. Oh, and if I didn't say it, I think I did, but Scorpio for that Six of Cups. Um, this is a very powerful energy for me when it comes to a love reading. It is the energy of the one, feeling sure, feeling confident, knowing that there's something about this, this connection, this person coming towards you or this person on your mind, that could be the one that you've been looking for, the one that you've been hoping for. And there's something about you being ready for that, holding the emperor in your heart space is holding that space and saying to the universe, "It this is what it's got to be. Like, this is what it's got to be. It's got to be somebody who's so sure about me and so sure about this connection and so willing to do what it takes. That's what it's got to be. And when you hold that in your heart, that's what you attract towards you. And this can also be you having that confidence and that assurity that something really positive is coming towards you. Your person in the heart space has the Knight of Wands energy. Leo could be significant here. This person is definitely attracted to you, but I do have to say with the Six of Cups, it's not just attraction here. There are some very tender feelings. I do have to say the attraction is very strong, but I do feel like there is more to it that um, with that, with the Six of Cups, because that is more vulnerable, more intimate, more kind, even like friendly feelings. But with the Knight of Wands, this person wants to do something. They want to take some initiative. They want to say something. They want to move this forward. The Spirit, why do we have the Knight of Wands? What is this action that this person is wanting to take? What is this? What is this action? Had a few fall out. Just one card, Spirit. What is the action that this person is hoping to take towards this connection? Oh my goodness. We have the moon. Interesting because that is your card, Cancer. That is um, your energy. So when a major arcana for someone shows up because you're ruled by the moon there, I do feel like this person is definitely wanting to take some action towards having you in their life. But I also feel like there could be a little bit of confusion. Um, maybe somebody hasn't been talking. Maybe there's been some quiet energy. We do have some quiet energy showing up on your side as well. It's possible that there's been a lot of feelings, a lot of attraction, but it hasn't really been talked about yet. Um, and I do feel like the action this person is wanting to take is to bring something that's been maybe in secret, 
it may be hidden, maybe a little bit in the shadows here, out into the open to take some action to let you know what is going on inside. And your intentions towards this are the Ace of Cups. Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy could be significant, but this is somebody who is ready to fall in love, ready to open up their heart, ready to see where things can really go. So with the Six of Cups sitting right next to the Ace of Cups, this is someone that you care about. This is somebody that you're very interested in. This is somebody you like and feel like you could even really fall for that also is wanting to see you, be around you, um, and get closer. Your person with their intentions is the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles. Once again, there is some things that this person has been kind of keeping to themselves with the High Priestess and the Moon. That can be secrets. That can be things that have been unsaid. There is a lot of intuition. I do feel like this person could be seeing signs of you, listening to their intuition, feeling like it's time to do, say or do something. And it's very clear they want to offer this Ace of Pentacles. And look at this Ace of Pentacles you have showing up in your daily life. This offer, this new beginning, this step forward, I feel like that's what this person wants to express. It's like they want to bring something out into the open and they do want to see you. I almost feel like they kind of want to get together or talk or talk on the phone or something like that because they've kept a lot of things to themselves and they just feel like it'll be more natural like when they see you or when you talk. Obviously, it's not going to be for everyone, but there's something with this Ace of Pentacles that this person really feels feels like um, getting together or doing something to show you how they feel could be the key. But there has been a lot of quiet energy. I have two more quiet cards. And so I almost feel like um, some of you have not talked about this. Or maybe you had. Maybe things were moving forward and then maybe things got quiet. It's definitely shifting in a different direction, but your potential outcome cards are the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Wands. And I didn't mention for your person, but that Cancer, Virgo, and Pisces for me as a reader with that High Priestess. So um, could be strong in your chart or your person's. But I feel like with the Knight of Cups, um, Scorpio Energy, and Nine of Wands, Sagittarius, I feel like there is definitely an offer coming towards you. This Knight of Cups is facing right towards your energy. Right next to this Ace of Pentacles, this person is wanting to offer. It could be a romantic offer. It could be a romantic new beginning. It can be somebody asking you out. Um, you've got a High Priestess and a Nine of Wands energy. You could have kept some things quiet. And we have the High Priestess here on both sides. When I get that, I do feel like this is two people, especially with the Six of Cups, that do feel like a strong connection. Could even be like a strong psychic connection. You could pick up on them, pick up on their energy quite a lot. But sometimes what you're seeing on the outside doesn't necessarily match what's going on on the inside because this is somebody who's having a lot of thoughts, a lot of feelings, a lot of intuition about you. But with this quiet energy, it's quite possible they haven't said it yet. And it's quite possible you haven't talked about it either because we do have this nine of wands. You have your reasons to be a little guarded, to be a little careful. This nine of wands is somebody who has been through their share of things, but it is somebody who does want to rise above the past. They do want to make a fresh start. They do want to see things through. Your person has, for their potential outcome, the Four of Swords, the Empress, and the Ace of Cups. So now we have the Ace of Cups on both sides, the Ace of Pentacles on both sides, a lot of mirroring here. Um, and we have the Emperor and the Empress. So we'll talk about that in a second, but first we're going to take a look at this Four of Swords. You know, I said there was a lot of quiet energy here. Um, the Four of Swords can be somebody who is taking a little time to heal. It is somebody who has been through some challenges and it's very clear with this Nine of Wands, you have been through your share of things too. Maybe something that happened between the two of you, maybe some things that happened in your past that you're still kind of working through and processing. But with the Four of Swords, this it comes after the Three of Swords. This is somebody who has put the pain in the past. They've hung up the Three of Swords. They've hung it up on the wall in the traditional tarot. They've taken a little time to process. It's quiet to heal 
before they take the step forward, before they take the Ace of Wands and communicate what they're feeling. But it's very clear that this person who has maybe been quiet is definitely healing, releasing some past things, some past pain, and is having an awareness, no matter how quiet they are or what's going on, that you are the person that they've been looking for and hoping for. Um, Libra energy could be significant with this Four of Swords, Taurus and Libra with the Empress and with this Ace of Cups, all water. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel like with these energies coming up, you've got the Ace of Cups. They've got the Ace of Cups. If the two of you have been dealing with people in the past that haven't been right, that have, you know, maybe have been distractions, maybe have put both of you through some difficulties, it's quite possible both of you are releasing some past situations once and for all so that you can really open up to each other and fall in love. Of like like a brand new like a brand new beginning just letting yourselves just go and feel what it is you want to feel for some of you this is somebody that you know like I said exactly who this is the connection is strong and yet it's like um you're having this awareness that that you're ready for the next step so we have the emperor in your heart space and the empress and the potential outcome for this person I feel like you are anchoring in, Cancer, this awareness and this understanding that it has to be the one. And there's something about you just holding that in your heart that is causing this person to definitely see you in that way. The Empress is the energy of the person that you can have all sorts of potential with. It is the person that can be the one. And I know when I met my person, like my forever person, all of a sudden, everything that never worked out in the past all made sense. I've had all my heartbreaks. I've had all my you know, doubts, my fears, my, my moments of feeling like as love, even something that's ever going to happen for me. And you question yourself because you go through things and it's like, why does it have to be so hard? Why do I have to get my hopes up? And then you meet that person, that empress person. And you're like, oh my goodness, it's because it wasn't you. It wasn't you. And it had to be you. And that's the energy here. All the other things, everything else that led up to this moment was always drawing the two of you together. When you get the emperor and the empress in this and this new beginning with the ace of cups, um, it is the energy of recognizing this is different. The past is in the past and it's this is somebody that you can really have a future with and then opening up your heart and being ready to share and express that love that you always knew you were meant to have and now is the time once again with the six of cups the emperor and the empress some of you this could be a strong soul connection some of you um, could be like twin flame soulmates that, you know, maybe you're in like a quiet energy. For some of you, this is somebody coming into your life that you are falling for that is helping you to make sense of everything in the past that was, that was not what it, what it was meant to be because it was always meant to be this. Like it was always meant to be this and you know it and they know it. And so if you don't have somebody in your life that you're like, I, I know, like I know who it is. Um, then you could be meeting that person very soon because this is, with all these aces and these powerful energies here, this is the kind of connection that, um, that in a sense, we're, we're all ultimately meant to experience. It's something that we come in knowing. Those of us that come here for love and connections, we all have different reasons for coming, incarnating in this life, but there's many of us, like me, I always knew it was for love. And when you meet that person and you connect with that person, you know, you know why everything that happened so far happened the way it did to bring you to this moment. That's the kind of energy I'm getting here, Cancer. So I do hope that this spoke to you and gave you some of what you needed. And I appreciate each and every one of you that watches these messages, likes, comments, subscribes. It means everything to me. I appreciate you all so much. Happy birthday season again, and I will talk to you soon.